In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we'd like to show you how you can use PowerDirector to upload a video to your YouTube channel. This comes as a request from one of my subscribers. What I have on the screen is a very short clip warning drivers of a speed trap. So if for some reason I wanted to take this and put it on my YouTube channel, how would I do that? Well, all I need to do is click on the Produce button at the very top. That will open up my production page. Now, my default is standard 2D, which gives me these production options. What I'd like to do in this case is go to the online tab on the upper left corner. And now I have four different options. YouTube is one of them. That's the one we're going to use in this case, so I have it highlighted. Then I can click the profile type, the resolution I want to use. We'll use 1280 by 720. Then in the next box, you put in the title that you want to have. It calls, I call this Power Director Example. I'll just change it to uh, Erase Me for my title because I'm going to erase it when I'm done. Then you can put in a description in the box below. You notice you have lots of room for lots of text. You can make it as complex or as simple as you like. Then you can put in tags if you want. I'm just going to put in one called PD for Power Director, another one called Example. YouTube does not use tags extensively, so that's really an option. So then you have a video category. Most, most of mine I use for education. I call, could call this anything I want. Maybe it's a gaming one in this case. And then I can either make this public by clicking on this box here or I can make it private. I'll make this private since it's not worth much and I will delete it once it's on my YouTube channel. If you want to use hardware acceleration, you turn the checkbox on here. You can also enable preview during the production if you so wish. So when you're done, you also will note that what it will do, it will take that and it will export it as well to another location. I'll just call this Erase Me because again, I don't necessarily need it. It will produce a local copy in this resolution, in this style, and it will then upload it. It's a two-step process. But let's click on Start and see where it takes us. So I click on the Start button that says, Sign into YouTube account and grant PowerDirector permission to upload the video. So this will happen only once. If I have given Google my permission to let PowerDirector upload a file, I will not see this screen again. But I've erased my permission, so we're going to go through it as though it were the first time. I'm going to click on Sign In. Now that I have the browser open, I'm going to click on the account that, that I'm using for Sharper Turtle. I'll click on that. And then I have several different sub-accounts or brands. I'm going to use my Sharper Turtle one. Then I have a screen telling me exactly what I'm giving PowerDirector the permission to do on my Google account. I'm going to click on the Allow button. When I'm all done, it says Authentication is, is OK. I'm going to close my browser. Now, PowerDirector said, you've given me permission to work with your Google account on YouTube, and now I can start the upload. All these screens that you've just seen are screens that you will not see the next time you log in because it's already given permission. I'm going to click on Next. Now we have two screens. The first one, the top one, is producing the video. This is like your normal production screen, producing it to your local computer. It will save it in your media room. The process will repeat and the lower bar will be filled with blue as it processes your video and sends it directly up to your YouTube channel. When you're finished, you can go back to your YouTube channel and make any other adjustments you want to in terms of title description, anything else you'd like, and your uploaded video is ready to go for service in your YouTube channel.